being all black folks, and basically we, we got distance and basically forget about the number, and everybody makes things out of goofy-ass numbers, because this is the dev, uh, importance on September 7th of this year, okay, and then I'm going to show you how, what the, January 1st is the farthest day away, and I'll give you that info in a second, and it's just the idea that if you look at Venus, Jupiter, or Mars, it's one of them, Saturn, it's one of those planets that basically has a ton of eights in it, and it's just a number. It's distance, it numbers, and people make big things out of, you know, uh, biblical, this, that, or whatever you want to do. The Bible's a history, and the numbers, six and eight, and whatever. And yes, more than likely, it's something to do with astronomical, and then the idea that all oh, religious people going, oh, God, you can't have astronomy, and uh, astronomers, and... Uh, watching stars and all that stuff like that. It's just facts where objects are in the flipping universes, you know. It's a number, it's a distance number. It's like, well, you you can't be at that, uh, the 13th floor. I mean, come on. It's just, it's all, what would you call it? It would be all wise tales, you know, and not the Bible. I'm not saying that. That is a history thing. So the idea that, yes, astronomically and position-wise, it may be an important number. Okay, and not the devil. The devil is in everybody. Okay, doesn't matter about that. Okay. Okay, sharing raw data and <coughs> educating here in <coughs> political correctness in 1976 and rule number 107, copyright infringement and basically allowed. So that is on the first of January was our farthest distance that will be from the moon. So it's very important with anything coming by, any object in space, that the, the idea that we will have different distances. Yeah, so this was the closest we get this year, and the distance is like the the moon does its thing within 27 point whatever days on average, okay? And I do believe that even the sun does whatever it does within 27 to 29 or something like that days, okay? As far as its rotation. And then uh, we rotate in 24 hours, and we know we rotate towards the supergiant suns of that there are over 100 stars that are 4 to 78 times the size of the sun, and we know that the sun is in the supergiant's main sequence now, okay? And then that we are also seeing objects at Nehemiah and so forth and so on. Raw data, and watch all my videos, and you've seen the objects that we've been seeing down there for a long time. So I'm going to go do some more research and just pop in a little bit here and give you... So I'm basically hoping that everybody over in Portugal, I'm pretty sure it's Greece, something like that, but the live TV... Anybody, if you own anything, uh, button it down, or if you got it, you're making it in space, or you bring it to the moon, and you're going to tell us what you think. Around before this day and after this day, it's a very, very high wind, which is usually the weather for the next day.
Yes, and this is the reason from, uh, I can't guarantee you what may or may not be the case, but this is the reason why there's a lot of research that's going on right now that I can't really get into the specifics of. Okay. This is getting quite a bit from the parents trying to keep their eyes on this. Just a little bit of the police that they see with their eyes that they don't think they're quite seeing what's going on. The fact is, like I said, that some of you here stateside or somebody in the world has seen what you've seen before. Yes, after we have reported that we think that a law is wrong and it puts it out there, we have seen the next day, okay? So we have scientific proof by actually seeing that that behavior is unacceptable. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Matthew and I had about a 17, 30 stick. And as you can see, folks, that is SARS constellations, radioactive nuclei that were not seen until back in the time of radioactive things arrived in the late 1980s, huge spike in radioactive things in the 1980s. So we're going to draw spikes out of the sky. Now we are going to bring them down. So all those objects that we've got hidden in our space are all going to be coming down. Just like so many. Yes, I believe this is camera nine in the back. This is one of the very earliest spikes that we've seen so far. You can see you can see the formation of the star line and the explosion of the star line. So this is where the star line is coming from. You see it being formed here in the middle of the sky. Our today's date and time is number 2020. Yes, folks, that means we built and you have to ask how many of the time an ancient green wall. I apologize to Japanese and Chinese people, but I mean, come on. Chinese people were in Japan ancient years ago, okay? And also you see the black light population of Japan is coming from Japan. So, Japan being Japan. And yes, folks, on this one, there's light propagation movement on five, and those other cameras, the black light propagation movement, I believe was, was uh, like, I don't know, six or something like that. I get mixed up. I'm just screwed around on sound, so the sound should have came back in here. I checked on that, and I know how to take care of that, so forth and so and such, and I'll try to take care of that more. Thanks a lot, Carousel. Partial data rumored.